Haran al-Rashid and Arabia was probably my favorite Civ of Civilization V, and Arabia in Civ VI looks very promising. I know, I might be a little bit biased here because, like I said, I've liked Arabia in past games of Civilization, but, oh, his bonuses here look so good. Looks so good. Let's talk about his special ability, and this is the main reason why. Arabia will always receive the final prophet, which gives them the final religion, in every single game they're in. Let me just talk about the workflow here of how to get up a religion in Civilization VI. First, you got to get the Holy Site District up. Then you need to get the shrine up. Then you have to slowly generate great profit points. This is all a very difficult decision to make in the early game because you're still trying to build a monument. If you're if you're playing on a on a bigger map, you want to build a scout so you can go find ruins. You also have to defend yourself and keep in mind the barbarians. So you want to build warriors and archers, and maybe you're looking at different boosts. So you want to build a builder. Early game is so stressful because you just you want to build so much. And being able to get the benefits of a religion without actually going after it is going to be so big to me. I, I, I cannot wait to play as a Civ. Now his leader ability lowers the cost of his religion's faith building and gives the bonus output of faith, science, and culture. So hold, hold up. Hold the phone for a second, okay? Because I'm kind of confused here by what religion's faith building means. Because in the video... Um, mosques are selected, and I'm. I, but from what this definition is, I'm pretty sure you can pick any faith building in the belief of finding a, a religion, and that would make sense because you know the people that you know kind of aren't super excited about Arabia right now. They're like, okay, well, yeah, they might get a a, a religion, but they're gonna get crappy beliefs. They're not gonna get to to pick from the very best, uh, you know, bonuses because you'll have four other religions in a standard game before you find, you know, whatever religion you choose to go as in Arabia. So I'm, gonna assu I'm assuming that they're saying any faith building, as long as you get a faith building, it'll lower the costs, which means you won't have to pay as much faith for it, and it's giving bonus yield for faith, science, and culture? Like, so you're telling me that I don't have to do anything for my religion, and I get a bomb-ass religion. Like, that's, <laughs> that's, that's how I'm reading this. So uh, I, if, if I read that right, if I'm reading that right, Wow. His unique unit is the Mamluk. It's a unique horse unit that replaces the knights, and it always heals at the end of each turn, no matter what, pretty much. This is not as exciting as the camel archers in Civ 5. I'm definitely going to miss my camel archers being able to attack twice and then move away. Uh, come on, I mean, it was a little bit OP, Drew. Got to calm yourself down, but um, this, is, this is still, uh, you know, a reasonable replacement after we get that amazing special ability and leader ability you know i, I don't think a, a super op unique unit is is fair but uh it's still kind of cool and it replaces the knights you know uh, i i don't think that you know again ed beach has talked about how traditionally for unique units you don't need that strategic resource so it'll probably not require uh a horse resource that's usually how we're seeing these these sieves go but you know we'll have to wait and see still very excited to see how this knight replacement unit works in battle Lastly, the unique building, it generates more science than the university or places and also provides faith via an adjacency bonus. Jeez. Um, so again, you're going to get more faith for, I guess, the buildings that are going to cost you way less than normal because of that leader ability. And you're going to get more science back. What, what, what can I say? Like, this is awesome. And it's kind of funny because when I was reviewing over Samaria... I talked about how they were the only sieve that I had seen, almost one of the only sieves that I would seen, that got a science boost, or, or science yield boost, I guess is a better way to put it. But I guess Arabia will get it as well. I'm, I'm assuming that those are pretty OP traits because not everybody has it. I mean, man, I, I'm, I'm loving Arabia so far. My final thoughts, I think early game is going to be extremely fun at Saladin because you always know in the back of your head you're going to get up that religion no matter what. So you can kind of do whatever you want. You can act like you were going for, you know, a domination game or a cultural game or or science game. You know, some of those things that you might not be able to think about as much if you're trying to rush a religion. Traditionally, you're going for that religious victory. That's why you get up a religion. So knowing that, hey, I don't I don't have to work for all that. It's all good. I can relax. I can do other things. And I know that my religion is still going to come out and it's still going to be pretty dang powerful. I'm also going to get a lot of faith generation because of my unique building. I mean, they look they look awesome, and 
you're 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 guaranteed you got to go for a religious victory but you know you have that backup plan where you don't have to because you're building off of a base that you know isn't super exclusive to a religious victory you can build for you know a backup cultural win or a backup science win but you know religious victories will be achieved earlier on in the game than i believe the others you know besides domination depending on the situation uh, but saladin looks looks great so not only was arabia my favorite civ in civilization 5 i was also most looking forward to arabia's first look video every week that passed by i was like Wait, when are they going to announce Arabia? Because traditionally, this Civ gets some pretty awesome bonuses throughout the Civilization franchise, so I knew that they were going to be pretty strong, and, and it kind of looks that way so far from what we've seen in Civ 6. But if you guys want more leader breakdowns, they'll be right here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.